was like, well, what do I do? Do I sleep with it on? Do I shower it off? Do I do this? Do that? Yet? What's it called? Like a sponge on a string? Just kind of leave it because who's seeing the center of your back anyways? Hey guys, today I thought I would share with you my self tanning routine because I feel like this is something a lot of people don't really understand. It's also something that I feel like people like want to do, but then they're just like, ah, I don't really know how to do it. Because I know when I first started self tanning, I was just like so lost. I was like, well, what do I do? Do I sleep with it on? Do I shower it off? Do I do this? Do that? Yet? And so I thought I would do it. I'm not going to show you exactly like, like on my body how. I do it because I feel like I can explain that really easily you're rubbing it in like lotion that's kind of the gist you know but I'm just gonna kind of explain like my timeline of doing it. I do have an old video about this and it was also a review on the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse which is what I still use I just use the darker one now if you want to see that just to get that review on that product then I'll link that in the description box but I'm just gonna share with you kind of my routine and maybe this will help you out and get you kind of into it you obviously don't have to use the exact same product as me but I do recommend this one. It is my favorite. I know it's kind of expensive, but it lasts so long. This is a super user-friendly product. Now, I've been talking about the product for a minute and a half. Um, this is it. This is the Saint Tropez Dark Bronzing Mousse. You can use the regular one if you're a bit paler than you think this will work for. They do make mini versions if you want to like try the mini cheap one to make sure you don't have any kind of reaction to it or anything. But this is about $42 to $48. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll leave a link to it in the description box. I'd really recommend it. But my routine in general is pretty simple. And I usually use this at night and I sleep with it on because it, when you first apply it, it can look pretty weird. And it also smells then, but not bad. I mean, I don't think it's a bad smell, but it's definitely an obvious self-tanning smell. But it's not bad. Like I've definitely gotten used to it. The first time I used it, I was like, oh, what is this? But you get used to it. This kind of thing is a mousse, so it's definitely the easiest to blend in over a lotion or a gel or anything like that. So what I do is I just make sure I moisturize before I use it. So if I'm using this at like 8 p.m. before I go to bed, I'm gonna make sure that my skin is moisturized. But if it's not, I'll use a nice light moisturizer before I apply this just to make sure there's no rough patches. You don't want anything rough happening when you apply this on your knees, on your elbows, it'll be pretty obvious. Anywhere that you normally have dry skin, make sure it's extra moisturized. Also, don't apply this to your hands, like this part of your hands or at the palm of your hands, also to the bottom of your feet. Those are the two places you definitely don't want to apply it. I also wouldn't recommend it on your face because first of all, it could make you break out. They do make a face tanner, but I don't really like it. And the way you're gonna apply it is with a tanning mitt. So once you're moisturized and you're set and you're ready to apply it, you're gonna want a tanning mitt. Um, Saint Tropez does make one, I think it's around $10. I get these for $5 at Ulta. You can buy a bunch of them online, you can go to the store, they do sell out pretty quickly. So I'd recommend if you're at the store and you see them, get a couple of them at once. You can also reuse these, which is fantastic. That's what I do. They do get pretty dirty, so every time you use them, I'd say the next morning or even that same night, just easier the next morning after you've already showered, but I'll explain that in a second. You can rinse these out, use soap or not, you can just rinse them out, and they'll last, I'd say, up to four uses, five uses, until you start thinking they get, they're green and get really disgusting. What you're gonna do when you apply is you're just gonna put your hand inside the mitt, you're gonna pump some of that out onto the mitt, I'd say about one to two pumps at a time. You don't wanna put it all on at once and then be sitting there blending it in because it can dry pretty quickly. You wanna, I'd say, go from section to section. What I normally do, I start up here, I do my back. Sometimes the center of your back is the hardest place to reach. If you can't reach there, you can get someone to help you or just kinda leave it because who's seeing the center of your back anyways? Like I said, I'll take two pumps, I'll apply it all over my neck kind of shoulder area. Then I'll take two more pumps, go all along my arm. Make sure you're blending on the inside of your arm, the outside. Make sure you're doing this in a mirror so that you can see that there's no streaks. This doesn't go on streaky at all, especially with the mitt, it blends so nicely, but make sure you're not like missing a spot. Because this is a dark lotion, you can see where you're applying the product. I do usually take what's ever left on the mitt after I've done my arms, and then I do take it onto my hand, but make sure you're not applying more or your hands are gonna look really dark. Just whatever is left over on the mitt after you've rubbed in your entire arm, make sure you're just blending that really nicely and kind of fading that out because you don't want your hands to look orange. Do the same thing to the other arm. Take it around this kind of central torso area, back, stomach, all that stuff. And you do the same thing on your legs. Make sure the moisturize, go all around. Make sure you're doing extra blending around your elbows and your knees and your ankles. And then on my feet, I do the same thing I do on my hands. Sometimes I want to be a bit darker. Sometimes you can do that like twice in one week and kind of build up a color. Sometimes I'll go over and let it dry and then do a second layer. It takes about two minutes to dry. So if you're like naked when you're applying this, then just wait two minutes before you put clothes on. Also try to wear loose clothes because even though it doesn't cling to your clothes, I always like am extra careful with that. Don't wear your favorite pajamas that night you're applying them. Like I said, it doesn't stain. You can easily wash it out but if you put your clothes on too quickly it will get on your clothes just so you know I usually wait about two minutes three minutes as long as you can you know I don't know as long as you want to walk around naked that's how usually I do it and then when I go to bed I do try to put a towel down or a blanket that I don't care about so I don't get anything on my comforter or my sheets never had a problem with it getting on anything before but it almost feels just a bit more secure because you do feel like you have something on you a little bit it is pretty comfortable it's just kind of the fact of getting used to having that product on your body but also I wanted to mention that they have to leave it on for over four hours for sure 
to get the color to sink into your skin. In the first four hours, so say you put it on 8 p.m., you get your pajamas on, and then you're gonna have a snack before you go to bed. If you're having something you need to wash it out in the sink, careful, because if the water gets onto your hands, where you just applied it within four hours, it'll rinse off. So you wanna avoid sweating, you wanna avoid any kind of water for four hours, 100%. And the next morning you just wake up and take a shower, you wash your hair, don't wash your hair, whatever you want to do. And you rinse it off, you just wash normally with soap, don't exfoliate. If you have an exfoliating body wash, don't use that because it'll just take too much of the color off. If you're shaving your legs, be super careful about it, don't like scrape your skin because it is going to take off that first layer of skin when you shave. So you don't want to remove all the color, so just kind of be extra gentle about it. The more you stay moisturized, the longer the color will stay. So I'd say that the Saint Tropez mousse will last 5-7 to seven days. Uh, before it starts to like fade so you definitely want to stay moisturized every time you shower use moisturizing lotion i do have a get your skin ready for spring blog post down below if you want to read more about kind of the products i'd recommend for self tanning and things like that so i'll leave that in the description box i try to keep moisturized so that nothing flakes because if it goes patchy on you when it starts to fade you'll see little patches of skin or it'll start to like flake off or like say you were washing right here it'll like you'll see a little patch that's because your skin is too dry otherwise it should fade naturally if you do notice little patches it's not gonna be like a huge difference you know what I mean when I usually notice a patch it's right after the shower so I'll just hop back in with like a loofah or one of those little like like what's it called like a sponge on a string and just like start scraping and not scraping but like exfoliating any kind of exfoliating body wash should do this lemon juice is known to do this if you do notice it going patchy just using exfoliating body wash um you can use like one of those dry brushes anything like that should help with that i'd say it lasts five to seven days and then you can just reapply it but it is just going to give you the extra little like step up so you don't feel like you're a ghost it definitely helps just give you that little bit of color if you have any questions that i didn't answer in this video please leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up especially if that helped you which i'll be really happy about subscribe to see more from me and don't forget to watch my old videos if you miss them because they're pretty awesome and um, I think that's all I have to say. Make sure to follow me on all my social media too. Um, I like doing social media, obviously, like everyone in the world. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Stay. Also, just kind of... Um... <sighs>